Hey everybody, uh, John Mark here with a lesson on how to know every note and all the basic chords in any key signature. So whether you're just getting started in music and you're trying to get a feel for what it means to be in a certain key signature, or whether you've been playing for a little while and you're comfortable in some key signatures and not others, uh, this lesson uh, should help. So I'm trying to basically just generalize what's going on in any key signature so that you can figure out any key signature at all. So the first thing to talk about are the 12 tones, also known as the chromatic scale. So uh, the interval between any of these tones here is a half step. So what a half step sounds like, going from A to A sharp, sounds like this. So it's like that Jaws kind of sound. Um, so that's uh, a half step interval. And uh, these chromatic tones here, these 12 notes, are actually all the notes in all of Western music uh, can be classified as one of these 12 tones. So granted, if you look at a piano and you see many more than 12 keys, uh, the reason for this is that these, these notes, they repeat in, in octaves. Right? So if I go all the way up this, this chromatic scale, I get to G sharp, and I go up one more half step, that gives me an A, but it gives me an A an octave higher. Right? So if you have an A like this, and one up here, if I play them together, you can hear how they just blend together and it sounds like the same note um, because it's, it's twice the frequency and your ear perceives that as being the, the same type of note. So those are both A's. So moving on, uh, we have these 12 tones and uh, if you have some experience with music, you might say, well, wait a minute, I see sharps and I see naturals, but I don't see any flats. Where are the flats? So the reason why I've left flats out is because it's just an alias. It's another name. So I have this A sharp here. I can call it an A sharp or I can call it a B flat. So any of these uh, ones in the middle with a the sharp there, I can either call it the one to the left of it sharp or the one to the right of it flat. Right? So a D sharp is also known as an E flat. And uh, so it's just a name that we change uh, because it could be more convenient. And we'll do an example later. So all major scales and all major keys follow the exact same pattern of intervals. So as I mentioned, uh, you know, you, you heard what a half step sounds like, and a whole step is just simply two of these, right? Because two halves make a whole. So if you go up in the pattern whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, that'll get you a major scale uh, in uh, whatever key you start on, whatever note you start on in a chromatic scale. So let's try it out. An example is the easiest way to see this. So in a C major scale, here's our chromatic scale. We're going we're gonna to begin and end on C. So we're going to go start on a C, and you go whole, whole, half, right? So like I said, each of these steps is a half step, but if I go two of them, it's a whole step. So if you look at this diagram, this should be a little clearer. For C major, if I start at the C and go whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, then that gives me C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And that is a C major scale. And this works for any uh, major key signature. You just follow this whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, starting on the note that you want. So let's do another one. Let's do F major. So if I start on F and I go whole, and so from G to G sharp is a half, and then you go one more half step, you have an A, that's a whole, right? So a whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So now uh, we have uh, that scale. But now if you'll notice, um, I went from F to G to A to A sharp to C, right? But I went from A to A sharp. But if we think about this, so the whole reason we have notation is so that musicians can communicate with each other, right? So if you know that you're in the key of F major and you know the, the band director or whatever, says, uh, oh, well, you, you know, you should, be playing, uh, you should be playing an A there. You wouldn't want to have to say, uh, do I play the A or the A sharp? Which one of the A's? Right, because that's, that's, that's inconvenient. So if instead we call this A sharp, just call it a B flat, because there's, no there's, no, um, there's no B natural in this key, right? We skip that one. There's no B natural. So if I say the B in an F major key, we must mean B flat, because otherwise we're not in F major. Um, so... Uh, that's an example of you know how I mentioned that we have these sharps and and flats, but really, you know, it's the same twelve tones, but sometimes it's conven more convenient to refer to it as a flat. 
So in this case, we write out the scale, and then we'd see, well, we have an A and an A flat, an A, a and an A sharp, both in the key. Makes more sense to call it a B flat. So it's as simple as that. So what about minor keys? So now minor keys, uh, you can treat it uh, the way uh, we picked out a major key uh, by looking at intervals. But this time the interval goes whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole, whole. So you can do it that way. Or, um, and, and this is, you know, again, just working from our chromatic scale the same way we did with major, but following this pattern. Um, but the other way to go about it, there's a shortcut. Uh, based on something called a relative minor, so that you can have a, every major key has a relative minor key. So to explain this, <coughs> the sixth note of any major scale is is um, you can take that note and make it the tonic of the relative minor key. Um, so when I say tonic, I mean the note that everything begins and ends on. So. Um, Let's say, uh, okay, so for an example here, let's say we want to do uh, D minor, the saddest of all keys, uh, according to um, Spinal Tap, right? So D is the sixth note in the key of F major. So uh, going to our F major scale here, F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F, right? Going from F to F. Uh, so if we play that scale starting and ending on F, then we've got uh, an F major scale. But if I take the sixth note, which is a D, if I count from here to the sixth one, it's a D, and just take these same notes and go D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C, D, which is what we have here, that's a D minor scale. So if you happen to know the notes in F major, then you automatically know the same notes in D minor. You just accent them differently so that things begin and end on the D. So we've covered scales pretty well. But what about uh, all the chords? Because each of these keys has chords in it that uh, are also defined by the key. So uh, you can do a lot with chords. You can do much, much more with chords than uh, what we're going to cover here. But uh, the, the most fundamental chords in any key signature are the basic triads. And um, you know, it's you can certainly plenty of uh, great songs have been written using only the basic triads. So uh, we're gonna, that's what we're going to cover for this particular lesson. So um, for each triad, you're going to have the 1, the 3, and the 5, which are also known as the root, the 3rd, and the 5th of each chord. 1, 3, 5, root, 3rd, 5th. Same thing. So, um, again, going with F major, let's build some chords. So, uh, let's say we want to find the tonic chord. So, uh, if we're playing in, in, in the key of F, this... Um, this F, um, that's where things are going to resolve, right? So the, the song is probably, not always, but, and, and granted, these, you know, there's exceptions to these rules, but most typically, if a song is in the key of F major, it's going to start on an F major, it's going to end on an F major, and it's going to give you that, that sense of, of tension and then resolution. It's going to resolve on that F. So our tonic here is just going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You just go 1, 3, 5. FAC. So that's an F major chord, FAC. It's that simple. So let's do a couple more from F major. So let's say I want to know the third chord. So um, in, in any key signature, you can, you can talk about the tonic chord or the one, the two, the three, the four, the five. They can also be numbered. So let's say I want the three chord in F major. That's going to be A, C, E. And uh, that's an A minor. A, C, E gives us A minor. Or we could, uh, let's say we want the, um, the sixth. That's going to be D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 1, 3, 5. D, F, A. So, and that'll be a D minor chord. So how did I know that I'm supposed to call these chords uh, minor chords? Well, for one, uh, if you listen to them, so here, here's what a D minor chord sounds like. That's a D minor chord. You can hear it sounds kind of dark. If I take the, the three, right, so each one has a root, three, five, one, three, five. In the D minor chord, if I move that three up a half step from here to here, now I play it. Now it sounds kind of brighter, happier. If I drop it back to where it was, you can hear how it sounds a little darker. Um, so that's one way is that you can hear the difference, but let's get a little more, let's be a little more uh, technical about it. 
So uh, there's actually a couple ways to, to do this, but uh, first, um, one way is to know the intervals between the 1, 3, and 5. So if you play a chord and you notice that uh, it has, there's two full steps between the root and the third, and there's one and a half steps between the third and the fifth, then that's a major chord. Um, so that, once again, that's, that's two full steps between root and third, one and a half between uh, the three and the five. Whereas minor chords have one and a half steps between the root and the third, and two full steps between the third and the fifth. And then the third type of chord called diminished, uh, that's going to have a step and a half between uh, both the root and the third and between the third and the fifth. So if I take, uh, let's just take a C major chord here, All right? So one, three, five. So first I'm starting with, um, let's see here, two full steps between, uh, between the first and the third and uh, one and a half steps between three and the five. That's what that sounds like. But now if it's minor, what if I just move this third down a half step? Now it sounds minor. And then what if I also take the fifth and move it down a half step? Now it's diminished, right? So if you start with a major chord, move the third down a half step, now it's minor. And then move the fifth down a half step, now it's diminished. So I went from C, C major to C minor to C diminished there. Now, the uh, simplest way to do, uh, to know uh, which one they are in a key signature though, so that you don't have to keep uh, counting intervals, the, the simplest way is to just know the pattern that it follows. So uh, any major key is going to go major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished. And minor keys are going to go major, diminished, or sorry, minor keys are going to go minor, diminished, major, minor, minor, major, major. So they're always going to follow this pattern. So if, if you're in a major key, the one's going to be major, the four is going to be major, and the five is going to be major, right? Two is always going to be minor. It's, it always follows these same patterns, no matter what key you're in. So to look at an example, uh, let's actually just take one from beginning to end here. So let's see, starting from our chromatic scale, we're going to, de we're going to derive all of the, um, the notes in the G major scale, as well as all of the chords. So first, uh, for, for our G, we're going to go, uh, let's say we want a G major scale. So we'll go whole, 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 half, whole, 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 half, right? So then what that gives us is G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, uh, and then we'll go back to a G. And then if we want to define our G major chord, uh, our triads, our triad chords, then uh, we're just going to take this uh, scale that we've derived and go one, three, five over and over again. So for, for the tonic, the one chord, we're going to go one, three, five, G, B, D. For the second, uh, the two chord, we're going to go A, C, E. For the third one, B, D, F sharp. And you can see that's, that's what we're constructing here. And then, um, so these are the notes in each chord, but then we also know what these chords are called because we know we're in a major key and it always follows the pattern major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished. Um, so we've, so just like that, in, in what, probably about a minute here, we've figured out every note in the scale of G and every chord in the, in the, in the key of uh, G major. So uh, hopefully this is helpful. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, check out some of my other videos. All right, thanks a lot.